Wagwan people, welcome back for another episode with Mario's Paint Class. In today's video, we're going to learn a little bit more about mix ratio. How do we go about mixing a mix ratio that says 4 to 1 and then 1 to 1? Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, let's dive into it. These are the two mixing cups that I'll be using to demonstrate how to mix a 4 to 1 and then a 1 to 1 mix ratio. We all know there is different style of cups, different brands. See the mix ratios on the top says 4 1 1, 4 2 1 and so forth. Alright guys, let's get started. First thing you want to do is locate your 4 1 1 scale. You can see where it is right there, 411, but we're mixing a 4 to 1. Now, let me say this this is not real product I'm using in this video. This is just for demonstration purposes. So, think of this first four parts as your blending clear. And as you pour it in, you just pour it, mixing it 4 to 1. So, mix it right there at the 4, let it stop right there. And then, after you do that, you would just go ahead and get your candy and put it to the following four which will give you a four to one right there and that is our four to one mix ratio that's the first part i actually don't have a one to one on this big cup here so we're gonna substitute it for this one so we go here and we locate the 1 to 1 mix ratio scale and here we have it. So we're just going to put this in 1 to 1 just means half and half. It doesn't have it's not complicated at all. So you see we have it there at the 3 if you can see it. The first 3 here. So now we're going to take the reducer all the way up here to the other three and that would give us half and half. And just like that we have our 1 to 1 mix ratio and the 4 to 1 mix ratio all in one and that is done. Remember guys, this is not real paint. This is just for learning purposes so you guys have an understanding of what it means to mix complicated mix ratios such as an 8 to 1 or a 1 to 1. And that's it. All done. And that concludes today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know, everything seems a bit confusing until you actually learn how to do it. So leave a comment, let me know what you think, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.